Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another speed build. So if you guys are familiar with my Star Sign Legacy Challenge Let's Play, uh, you know that my Legacy founder, Ryu, had a baby mama slash girlfriend for a good bit of time. And uh, just a few episodes back, they split and I was trying out like a custody mod and Ryu would have custody of Yukio and then Yukio would go visit his mom, Rin, over the weekends. So whenever Rin and Ryu split, I moved Rin out into Del Sol Valley because her aspiration was to become an actress. And I thought because she had won the lottery, she has the lion's share of the lottery winnings. She gave Ryu some, but only really for Yukio's upbringing. So I feel like in Del Sol Valley, Rin would probably want a pretty expensive mansion. And to be honest, I think I only ended up at like 100,000 simoleons at the end of this. I found an inspiration photo for like clean and sleek modern homes in the Los Angeles area. And I found this really interesting one here. I went with it because it's two separate buildings. So in this first building, that is like the main living space, the kitchen, and the dining room. I love this little entrance here. This was actually in the inspiration photos as well. I never think to put like a second entrance inside of an entrance into a home, but I think it's really modern. So I wanted to do that here. I also really love doing skylights. I'm not the best at them, but I've been having a lot of fun doing them recently in like personal builds. So this one, I decided to put one in the main space and then a few more in the second building that holds all of the bedrooms. I just wanted to stick to a few exterior colors, so I decided to go with that wood paneling, black siding, and then I love the stone column in front. I used that again in the interior, but I tried to keep that one as minimal as possible and keep the two main colors, just that wood paneling and the black siding. I'm also in love with that roof line. I love how there's just like a little pokey bit next to the stone column. Also, I struggle with lots this size. I never really know what to put in them to fill the space. So this is an opportunity for me to work with some pawn tools because uh, I don't normally use those. And I really thought it would be an interesting look to have like a little piece inside of this outdoor area here, look down into the pond. But unfortunately, that's not possible. I thought it would be nice to put the building that held all the bedrooms off to the side here, but eventually I realized that that's a long trek for your sims to go to the bedroom at the end of the night and then in the morning when they want to take care of themselves they have to walk all the way across this little outdoor area and then into the main living space with the kitchen. I just didn't think that that was good flow. So eventually I do move that building to the side where the kitchen is. With every build that I do, I like to cycle through items that I don't use very often. So I decided to go with these island living counters because one, I actually really like them. 
and they match the wood tone of the wood paneling on the exterior. So I just thought that was a nice touch to bring that same color on the inside. And then I put a central island in there as well. Those shelves also are from Island Living. I forget to use those all the time, but in place of cabinets, I think they do the trick. Also, y'all are gonna hate me for these chairs, but I think they're structural and fun and something I feel like a rich person would buy just to seem like they're artsy. They're definitely a conversation piece. I also enjoyed using platforms so much on the San Francisco house that I did, so I decided to use platforms on this house as well. I just like the way that platforms give you dimension in a space and it makes things feel separated even though this is one large open space. There aren't any doors in the entire interior, except for like the laundry room. Originally, I was going to make this living room like a tiled living room. So I found like this little chalked design that I think would be cute and appropriate for something that's on stone or tile. Um, but I eventually moved that tiled mosaic. I moved that outside and then I just put wood flooring up here because my main thing with this entire house is that if the colors of the house exterior and interior are going to be very minimal. I wanted to bring in color in every place that I can. And that's why I was thinking originally of putting this mosaic inside. Because I also think those are Rin's colors. Rin is very colorful as a person. And I want to say that's mostly like pinks, purples, yellows, and blues. So I wanted to put that all in her house because this is just a reflection of her. As soon as I saw how well the Desert Lux outdoor seat and the end tables went together, I just thought that a conversation pit, but elevated. So maybe like a conversation bed? I don't know. I thought that would look pretty cool outside, especially next to the pond. It kind of gives you like your own personal oasis kind of feeling that it's all uh, walled off. And I never build like barbecue areas. I mean, I've definitely put barbecues outside in a few of my recent builds, but I'd never build like a dedicated outdoor counter space for the barbecue. But I feel like if Rin's this rich, she would definitely have one.
I almost didn't put a bathroom down here in like the main living space. And I realized that was such a bad idea that I just added one kind of haphazardly. But I think it works with this space because it gives that little office nook um, a feeling of privacy. I also really love the modular pieces that you get from Dream Home Decorator. They snap together so well so that you can make something like what I just made, um, like a fully custom like storage unit for your desk space. And you guys know me, I struggle so much with trying to clutter spaces. Just trying to find like the appropriate thing to put in places that will snap. I don't like messing with things that don't snap. I know I can alt place them, but if they're on a shelf, and when you bring the walls down and the, the shelf disappears, I don't like seeing items floating. Yeah, this backyard was a really big challenge for me because originally there's a fence around the entire parameter, but I just felt like that was kind of overkill. There's really no reason to fence in the entire lot. So eventually I do bring the fences in, but I just had to map out some of the exterior first to see like what I was going to be using in gameplay. And I did want to add things for Yukio to do since he will be spending his weekends here. I just felt like this place needed to be just a tiny bit more kid friendly. So I put that tree house back there and then I also put, I think a basketball hoop eventually. So as you can see, I did move that second building next to the kitchen, attached by a breezeway. And it's just gonna be a three bedroom building. So there's one bedroom for Rin, and then one for Yukio, and then a guest bedroom. I'm not sure if I'm gonna send Seiji over here because Seiji isn't uh, Rin's child, but it might be good for Yukio to have company. So I might convert that into another children's room. Who knows? So I moved that dining room over there. And this needed to be a segue just to the outside. So that's why I just put like a little conversation area over there. using a lot of Desert Lux in this build, but to me the items look luxurious, but also very utilitarian, and I love the color swatches of everything in the Desert Lux kit. So moving on to the bedrooms, um, with this guest bedroom, I just want it to be really simple and neutral because the rest of the house is quite colorful. So I could just imagine anyone sleeping here. I didn't want to make it too personalized to someone. Obviously, Yukio's room is pretty color-coded. It's the orange and blue color scheme that I went with in Ryu's house. 
so I'll know if I send him over here that this is Yukio's room. And then there is a shared bathroom with the guest bedroom and Yukio's room. Since this is such a large space, I just thought it would be the best to just designate one bathroom for these two bedrooms. Also, I love those wall sconces that we got with Growing Together. Actually, there's a few. And every single one of them is good. So Rin's room has the three skylights up top. That's why those um, little saucer lights are at the very end of the room. Because they'd be directly in the way of a skylight if I put them in the center. I wanted to make Rin's room as colorful as possible because it matches the rest of the house. This is her space. And I also wanted to make it feel like bright and luxurious. So now that I've connected the breezeway to the outside, I thought the most appropriate thing out here would probably be a pool. So you have access from the main living space and the bedrooms straight to the pool. Honestly, at this point, I think uh, I was just feeling a little overwhelmed. So I was just doing very minimal landscaping. Just a few like little palm trees that face the pool. And I'm just going with like a plain white for the rest of the house and uh, this black tile for the kitchen for some contrast. But also these floors that I choose, oh, I love them. Even though they don't match the wood tone of the outside, I just feel like the light flooring makes it look a lot bigger in here. I honestly didn't do too much with the outside here because I feel like, well, one, I'm not playing Rin, but if I was playing Rin, I would probably set up the backyard here for celebrity soirees if she ever wanted to do one. But for now, it's very like minimal and bare bones. There's just a few of those lounge chairs and then eventually I do put like a few wall planters in. I've been so hesitant to use this grass for landscaping. It just looked really regional. And after putting it down in a few places here, I feel like that really fits. And now I can see why so many people use this grass because it's just so lush and it fills up a lot of space. And I almost forgot to furnish that um, main bathroom there.
I always like to do a little uh, look through, like a final look through, because I would have forgotten to do the bathroom and I would have forgotten to paint these walls too. Because Rin is an actress, I felt it was very fitting to put those movie posters in her room. Can't forget to light the pool. And I just have a few more finishing touches here, one of which is I gave Rin a debug Corvette. Um, but I will jump in the game in just a second and show you what it looks like. Alright, so here we are in game, and Rin is at the front here. She's admiring her new car. Love that for her. So at the entrance here, we just have like a pretty simple mailbox, and then a few trash cans. Lots of landscaping on the front. So at the main entrance, you just have like a little shoe rack and coat rack, and then some plants here. And then if we go through here, we just have the like long open hallway that leads right out into the backyard. Let's see where Rin's going. Probably into the kitchen. No, she's probably going to the pool. I do not blame her. And then to the right, we have the living room. Nice rounded couch and a fireplace with that stone, again, that we brought from the outside. And... I don't know, it's just very classy in here. I really like the colors that I chose. And then if we look to the other side down here, there's a little office space. Yeah, very nice and cozy. And then through here is just the main bathroom. There's really not much to it. And then back out here, oh, looks like the sun is coming up. This is a little outdoor area. So we have like little barbecue station here with some bar stools and then like a nice little drinks area here next to the bar. And then around here, this is like the conversation pit. It's raised, so I don't know if conversation pit is the right word, but yeah, I really like this space a lot. So if we go back inside, let's venture off to the left. So this is the kitchen, and there is a laundry room attached to the kitchen. Also, not much to it. It's kind of claustrophobic in here. But yeah, very light wood, black and blue. Very sleek in the kitchen. It's also enormous. And then if you step down, you go to the dining room. Oh, I never put that pendant down here. I'm going to add another pendant. But yeah, honestly, I feel like these chairs work with this dining room set. And then we have some very classy glass pane on the half walls here. But let's go through the breezeway. So to the outside, there's another big glass sliding door here. And this is just like a little landing area for the bedrooms. To the right is Rin's bedroom. Oh, she left her laundry on the floor. But yeah, she has three skylights, or two in this bedroom, and then one in the bathroom. Let me see if I can give you the full effect. Yeah, so two skylights in her bedroom. And yeah, it's a very simplistic, but also colorful space. And then she has her own ensuite, which has the other skylight. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right above the shower. 
Also, not much to this space. And if we go back out, to the right, we'll come to the guest room. Yeah, very neutral, peaceful, calm space in here. And then this is the entrance to the shared bathroom. Two sinks, a shower, and then the toilet has its own room. Again, not much to it. Oh, I forgot to tile this. Whoopsie. And then over here is Yukio's room. Kind of a tight space, but he doesn't need much because he has like a whole house to explore. But I love the colors in his room. All right, let's check out the backyard. Yeah, I just put a few wall planters here. One is just decoration, and then there's like a little gardening table there. And then we have the treehouse to the left. And the pool here with some black stone. And yeah, just a few lounge chairs. And then there's also a basketball hoop, but I don't think I should have put it next to the pond. I mean, they won't drown in it, but like in real life, I wouldn't have put the basketball hoop next to the pond. So yeah, this is Rin's new house. I really hope that she enjoys living here. Um, there's no way for me to know that, <laughs> whether or not she'll enjoy this house, but that is my sincere wish. So let's see where we're at. I'm gonna save this lot. I'll say this is uh, a mansion. This is Rin's mansion. Um, it's a three bedroom and two bathroom. No, I guess it's three. I'm gonna save this lot. And we're at 105,766. So honestly, this did not make much of a dent in Rin's wallet. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, just leave me a like, comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. Just so you know whenever I put another video up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye!